Hey guys, and welcome back to Satisfactory! Last time I was walking around with uh, Cubic here and ZTech all the way over there working on the starter base. We had a good old chat about all the things to do with the game, what we hope for it, all the controversy around how it was sold. Oh, it was great. If you've not seen that, you should definitely go back and watch that. But this morning, I have been going around doing a few little things around the base, trying to make sure that we have got a uh, an, an all-round starter base set up. But there are a few uh, problems with this place. If I come over to here, um, throw that lever, and then come over and have a look at these uh, these biomass burners in the background here. We uh, we can't we can't support it. Look, the, the 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 production spikes out almost immediately. What we need to do is try and figure out a new power system. Now, thankfully, well, I say a new power system. It's going to be the same system but expanded. Thankfully, we have literally just learned how to make the biomass generator, which I think I'm just going to stuff stuff into this little spot here. Now, normally I would go around. I would make a whole bunch of. Um, Foundations, that's the word I'm looking for and stuff like that, but we're, we're doing that over there So let's just kind of throw these into place I'm gonna get my power lines out and pop one down there and then immediately bam we should be up and running I need to grab some fuel or rather some biomass We're not quite up to the point where we're making biofuel and then throw the lever and look at that We are back to perfect and around here. We are making rods. We are making plates We're making concrete and then over here. We are making wire now I could also put in another machine on the end of this to make cable, but honestly nothing so far needs cable So uh, I'm just gonna go with that. I just want to run over all the way over this side to show you um, Yeah, we got we got we got people working in oh press the wrong button there We got people just kind of living in the in the in the, the belts there if you're wondering why ZTech and Cuba can't with me It's the middle of the day right now And they are normal people with normal lives where they have to go off and do stuff and uh, you know as everyone knows I'm not normal. So we saw this ship come down at the end of last episode uh, It's a, a, a pod that carries off stuff back to back to, to the, the sky. I'm not actually sure what it is fix it hq somewhere up there uh it, it goes up there uh but when we did that we also upgraded this room here now we've seen all the living living quarters before but there is this area uh, i'm gonna press this and ada's gonna start talking uh, uh we, we'll just live with it all right oh no she's not gonna start talking how about when we come out that's that's fine you know what ada talks all over me anyway i don't care this is kind of like our research area this is where the whole exploration of the game comes into it so we uh we grab something that we have let's say this flower petals here actually we need 10 of those and i don't have any on me let me just no no look, look that alien carapace we've got one of these so this we got from the uh the fluffy tailed hogs Do you remember when we were side stepping and jamming it with our taser uh so we get to do a little bit of uh, research about this and as far as I'm aware this will now give us uh, when, when it's completed a blueprint that appears in the hub to work on But whilst we're talking about the hub, let's talk about the hub So we went through and did our ze uh, zero tier milestones to upgrade the hub now We've got a whole bunch of other sites one of which is only available when we can build the space elevator So uh, one of the priorities today will be building the space elevator, but first I need this logistics. I mean, normally I would work my way up through here, and actually for the biofuel, it's probably a good idea, but I'm going to go straight for logistics because I want some splitters, I want some mergers, and I want to be able to, like, automate a whole bunch of stuff. Ah, oh, out of power. Mm, keeping all these three fully filled uh, during the whole gameplay is probably going to be a little bit difficult for a single player on my own, but I am definitely going to give it a go. Also, coming over to the hub, I've just got to go clickety-click, clickety-click put all this stuff in here and then suddenly I've got a biggity bam. Now I'm going to hit this button and I'm going to run outside because this pod actually takes all the stuff away. Look at this. I'm not sure how healthy it is to stand right underneath the engine wash like this, but it seems to be okay. I can assume only that the suit is doing the work for us here. Or did we decide that we were actually robots in the end? I think we did. I think we did. Oh, that is... That is amazing. So you can see we've got a timer in the top right. The next pod will return in a, a little while. Nothing uh, to worry about there. We can also go along and select the next thing that we want and put a new little, um, uh, what's, what's the word, progress indicator up there. This shows us what we need to put into the box when the, uh, when the box returns. But the reason that I wanted to get that one so desperately, so, so very desperately, let's go and have a look over here. Uh, so we've got this machine making rods, and I've got to be honest, that, that whole thing, I waited about 10 minutes for this to get uh, a whole bunch of rods, and in fact, I even ended up going to, like, mine stuff by hand, uh, and even still, there's just 
it's not making that many. Not when we go over and have a look at the plates over here. You can see it's producing loads and loads of plates. And that's because we've got like this little backing up going on over here. So if we uh, have a look in this machine, there's a number uh, 15 per minute. It's a one to one ratio. One iron ingot gives one iron rod. So 15 per minute. And I think if we come over and have a look here, we've got 30 per minute. Yep, you can see that's an easy to divisible number. And now for my own research, I want to go and have a look at this uh, this smell. So that's doing 30 per minute. What is this producing? 60 per minute. Is it exact? Is it exact? 30 per minute? Yeah. Okay, so we want two smelters. And for those two smelters, we want to both have um, the two two constructors. That's what I want. Uh, so I'm going to show you a new thing you got down here. Hover and press the number to put it on the hot bar. I'm going to go uh, five and six because I actually quite use these a lot. Oh, I use these quite a lot, I suppose is a better, better wording there. Uh, conveyor splitter, you can just kind of like hover over there, but you can see that I am missing parts. Ah, let's go and get those parts. Oh yeah, I could put another machine on the copper production to make cable, but nothing uses cable, right? Well, after that little hand makey faux pas, let's get in here and put a splitter on the belt. I like the fact that you can just kind of like attach it to the belt. That's good. It's a little bit finicky. If you try and like put it down here anywhere, it's no good. You've got to kind of like aim above the bit the way you want it, above the belt, and it will just kind of like snap into place like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Should we find out what I'm missing now for the constructor? What I'm actually going to do is put the hit the little plus button. And it shows me on the side of what I'm missing there. You can see that the cable have got 100 out of 2. That's good. But we are missing iron reinforced plates. And you might be like, yo, Twitchy, why don't you make a machine that makes the iron reinforced plates? But let me come over to... Well, let's first have a look in the workbench because that will show you why we can't do this if we have a look the iron reinforced plates take two items here two items and unfortunately these constructor machines over here there we go only take one item in at a time so ah, we need another level of technology for that like would you believe uh, but so that's that's why i've not done that yet but I, that is on my list of things to do for a variety of reasons for a variety of reasons uh, right, so I'm going to put a constructor down. I'm going to put a merger on the other side. In fact, we might even want to go further than a single merger because I want to put a, like another one on and then four and stuff like this. But I'm going to get all that done and I will bring you guys back. Ah, it's beautiful. So it comes out of the miner. The ore comes down to this splitter. It splits between the two smelters. Now, I was going to have two constructors here, but then I looked at this merger here and I was like, oh, well, I suppose I could do another merger there and then we'll have another merger down the way. But I was like, no, 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 no. Let's just do the three and then the extra bit that comes from the miner can just be a bit of slack in case whatever like things go wrong and things have to catch up. Yeah, that, that's what that's about. But let's use this beautiful new construction uh, technology to go around and grab a few things. You can see our um, utility milestones over there. It's only missing a few items. I actually managed to grab a little bit too much there. I kind of like this still life that we've got here where, where Cubic kind of... I <clears throat> So I think what happened is that uh, a quick save got saved and then they they left and then I left. Um, and technically the save didn't register that they had like left the server. So their player model seems to be left behind. Now that's just my theory. I think that's what's going on. Uh, people who know more about programming. That, that's another thing I hate, but I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, people who know more about programming might know more about that. The thing that I hate, and let's go uh, demonstrate it over here somewhere. I'll probably have to uh, pick my microphone up to let you listen. If I come and hover over here and then click once with the shift click. Oh, oh this time it does it. Ah, <laughs> A lot of the times, the first one doesn't seem to register. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, may maybe it's just me doing something wrong. I mean, maybe that last little uh, demonstration that I showed there proves that it was me doing something wrong. I don't, I don't know. The interpretations in the comments down below. But here we go. Utilities. And I think Ada does a little bit of a chat here because they expect this one to be the first one afterwards. Yeah. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure. Additionally, the biofuel blueprint will ensure improved fuel... Okay, so that biofuel is actually experience. more important than she uh, is letting on. But yes, the space elevator. The space elevator. Oh, this is a big thing. I, I, like, I can't even begin to tell you how big it is. Uh, let's... Oh, let's but you, see, you see that? You see that? You know what? I'm going to run up there. Okay, so we're up on base viewpoint as opposed to Copper Ridge over there or um, Iron Plateau, that one. Uh, and let's get out the, the, the... First off, let's have a look at those... What was that noise? Oh, that was my entire base shutting down. We'll talk about that in a second. That, that really worried me there. Uh, first off, let's have a look, sorry, at the, the cost. 
down on the side here. 500, 250, 400, 1500. I mean, those aren't ridiculous numbers, but they are quite large. But also, look at the size of this. It's a bit awkward to tell because it is so huge. Like, compare it to the rock. Compare it to the entirety of the base. It is massive. So obviously, I want to build one over here. I think I actually want to build it this way around because you see on the, the closest corner and on that corner there, there's inputs. And I think we want them uh, towards the base. Maybe maybe like that. Hmm. Yes. But let's go and find out what's going on with the base. Uh, the power, sorry. Uh, biofuel. It's a thing we need to make now. Okay, not only do we want to make biofuel, but I want to kind of jump over here and get this power slug. Let's go back to the mem as well as talk about uh, these two both run out here at exactly the same moment. That was happened. Okay, that's that's fine. We can live with that. The first thing that I actually want to do is come into here. She's going to say a little few things about this alien. Analysis if the alien carapace is complete. Please choose a new specimen. Okay, what I want to do is the green power slug because this very important. Oh. Are required for R &D to continue developing a defense the creature has been named this thing or fluffy tailed hog. Okay, thanks Ada. That's what we want. They want a further 10 input there. Like 10. I'm going to die. <laughs> I really am. But this, uh, this power slug... Uh, what well, this crystalline slug uh it, it's something that we can use to overclock the machines give a little like production bonus too so that that's going to be pretty cool i'm going to come into this little little chest here where i've been keeping all my bio materials and come into this graph bench now this biofuel down here is just most exquisite stuff it really really is it keeps the keeps the base running on minimal of power, uh, sorry, of minimal of input for a long time. I'm just going to split that down. No, did it not like that? Split that down like that. Pop one of those in there. No, did it really not like that? That's an interesting thing. But let's see if it will run just like that. For now, beautiful, beautiful. So we need to expand this out because obviously we can't just run on this number of power. Um, but also, I think it's time to make our own little power area. So if I come over... I, I kind of want to get a little quiet area. Uh, I think we're probably going to build it behind here because, of course... Oh, no. Is that a... Uh, yeah, I know the power's died. It's all right. We're just going to run away and not worry about that. Uh, is this an iron resource over here? I'm not sure what this actually... Oh, give me, give me all this biofuel. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, what is this over here? What are you? Quartz? I don't know what quartz is for. I'm guessing glass. I'm guessing glass, but I've never encountered it before. And also, this doesn't look like a vein that I can put a miner on top of. So it might even be a uh, temporary non-renewable resource. We'll have to find out. But okay, let's let's find this area and do what I want to do. Okay, so we have two constructors here. One of which is going to be making biomass leaves. And I'm going to throw all this in here like this. And one of which is going to be making biomass wood. And we'll throw these in here like this. I was kind of hoping we'd have a little bit more. Uh, these will then produce biomass. There we go. Little, 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 little beds of stuff this would be really nice for like a rodent to sleep on i wonder if we've got any like other animals around here we could use this as bedding for and the leaves also making biomass on this side now we're going to go into this configurator and turn this into biofuel yes indeed and you can see this will just sit here and produce a whole bunch of biofuel that's going to then come out and go into this storage container i used to just have this little one set up uh playing on my uh my little test world that i had but it wasn't the, the, the uh, output here wasn't enough storage that when everything down, went down, I couldn't refuel everything. That, that move, love it. Look, it's even coming in front of this one. Is that, is that really what they wanted? Is that really what they wanted? I don't know. We appear to be running exactly at max. That's, uh, that's all right, actually. That's cool. I can live with that. Right, I'm just going to be working my way through here. I, I could do with the inventory slots, but I don't think I really feel like I need the uh, the 25 personal storage slots there. But we're, we're going to try it anyway. All right. So let's uh, let's select that milestone. That's a very important part that I always seem to forget to do is to uh, pop it up into the corner there. We need uh, 100 rods and 100 plates. Bigly bam. There we are ready for the next launch. These little ones are going to be pretty easy just to kind of like knock out milestone. now. Brilliant. Milestone reach. Additional storage options via... Oh, wow. Right, let's have a look in my look at look at all these extra slots we've got now or we could also put down the storage box i'm gonna put one down just for putting one down I have, i've not actually used one at all so they don't sit on the uh on the foundations that's okay i can live with that let's go and put it next to the craft bench over here because maybe it could use uh, a little one we go let's pop that there now i'm not sure whether this is now a my personal storage or whether one of the other players would be able to have a look in much like that box over there um, but I don't know, the word personal makes me feel like it's mine. 
and only I should be able to see it. But going into this other personal box over here, you see personal storage box. Any, I know anybody can see that. So, so I got a little bit excited and I've started working on the space elevator, as you can see to the right there. And I've got almost all the materials, but concrete has become a little bit of a bottleneck. As you can see over here, we've got the massive amount of 300. And this has been running for some time. I've even started taken to going around and hitting the ground with the chisel and going to work in the workbench. Uh, but... I started to compare some numbers here. I wanted to know how we were doing for the limestone before that becomes a problem. Click that across here. And you can see we're doing 45 per minute here. Now, if we have a look at the miners, these are doing 30 per minute. So I doubled it up with the with the line that Cuba could put in uh, during the first episode, merged it together. And now that technically means that we're getting 60 per second per minute, sorry, out of this end. Now, I happen to know that that's not actually 60 per, per, uh, per minute. I've, I've tried working exactly by these numbers before, and it always messes you up. But it still does put us way above the 45 per minute here. You see that glowing green thing right up there? Well, that was fun. So we're up on uh, Iron Overlook Plateau here. Oh, look at this guy. Get out of here. Uh, and I was trying to collect the green slug. Hang on, let me just deal with this guy. Do you, do you want to go the way of your friend? Do you want me to, like, push... Oh, wait, let's go over this way. If he's running around me, will he go over the... Well, wow, his dead body goes over the edge. Anyway, uh, and uh, yeah, I was up here to come and get this uh, green slug. Now, why do you think I want this green slug? Well, if you are paying attention about 10 minutes ago, you will know this. I'm going to try and make a jump down to one of the taller machines here. I don't know. Wish me luck, guys. I, I kind of feel like this is death. Uh, yeah, no, we're all right. We're all right. It's 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 fine. It's, no, it's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Two, one and a half hearts. No no problem at all. So we needed that green slug to come down towards the craft bench. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna use Cubic's craft bench over here. Oh no, it's not in here. Uh, where did we make this? I know this was a thing. Ah, uh, wait. We need to tr trigger this bit. Analysis of the green power slug complete. Woo! So we did that, and now that we don't, uh, Ada, please, I'm trying to explain to the people. Don't don't try and button on. Uh, now we should have a slug making contraption somewhere. Ah, uh, here we go. We need to open up a bit of um, blueprintage first. Okay, that that's cool. I happen to have a bunch of stuff on me here that we can use for this. Not 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 most impressed that I'm doing this, but it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll send that off. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's watch this guy take off. I, I just, I really enjoy watching it. It adds absolutely zero, like, functional progress to the game to watch it go. But it just, it makes me feel good. And if we're not playing games to feel good about what we're doing, well, what are we doing, eh? What are we doing? Anyway, so we can now come into the uh, the craft bench and press this button. Uh, always have to hold it down. It's given us a little orange container. Now, as I was saying, this one... It's being fed more materials than it can actually process. So if we come along and put the overclock container in there, make sure you drag the bar up. It's now working 150% or 67.5 per minute, which should slightly outrun the two two machines. Slightly. We'll see. We'll see. But how, how much concrete do we have now? Ah, oh, nowhere near enough. And as the sun sets on this illustrious day, we find ourselves on the top of base overlook point. And I think it's time. If you look to the right... Of my screen, I've got all the materials together to click on the special click space elevator and oh, yes, we're going to put this down. I, as I say, want to put it this way around to put the input accessible to my base. Is that going to be too much of a problem? Let's do it. Let's put it down. Oh my, watch this go. Not only is it an amazing structure in and of itself, but if we uh, look up, it's not quite coming yet. Okay, I want to find somewhere good to watch this from. Last time I was kind of like up on that sort of high area over there. Uh, I think that may have been a better area. Let's have a look. Do, do you see this, guys? Do you see this? Look at this. It's opening up, ready to receive the Teva from what I assume to be a geostationary uh, asteroid up there. That is kind of the whole point. You have a geostationary asteroid up at the top, and then you kind of dangle down this line to come and interlock with this. And you, oh, look how quick it comes down. So it kind of drops down. These, these things scrape along and lock into place. I love that. That is just so cool. Oh. Look at it. I presume this is like the first actual elevator, if you will. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm assuming so. Maybe this is the thing that goes up and down inside the cable, or maybe that's the actual platform there. I am not overly sure of the technology, but let's go down and have a look at this a little bit more up close. So that's the base side, and this is kind of the rear of the space elevator, if you will. It's definitely got a forwards and a backwards. 
So that's the uh, the goods in. And if we see over here, we've got ourselves a nice little access panel. Now, it turns out that actually, you see where it says press E to configure? You can literally do that anywhere. But, you know, I'm, I'm an RP player. I'd like to be able to do this here. So let's click on it and see what we've got. So as you can see, we've got this uh, game phase name. <laughs> Great, great work there. But we need to reload the resources. And you can see over here, we have got refined iron plates and rotors. Now, you might be going, huh, wait, didn't you say you can't build those? And yes, I did say I can't build those. But let me go and show you something else. So uh, here we are in the hub. The hub terminal has a whole bunch of stuff here. And the one that I want to point out is this parts assembly. Look at that. Uh, the assembler, the rotor, which was one of the things that we needed to send into the space elevator. I'm going to click on that button there and say that that is the one that we want to do. And uh, look, actually, honestly, we should actually have all this stuff almost instantly. That is all the stuff we need for the big button to be pressed. Oh, man. Yeah, so we have done part assembly. We've opened the space elevator. The space elevator is to add parts towards whatever this future project is. Oh, we're going to bask in the glow of the white dwarf or whatever that is. And I am going to say thank you very much for joining for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time. We're going to fix the power issues. There's more fuel needs to be put in, no doubt. Uh, but we're going to try and uh, do the space elevator uh, challenge, if you will, get all the stuff in there to send this along. That will then unlock trucks and coal for us, and I would really like to check those out. So I'll see you then, and we're gonna do that. Bye!